So the theme of today's podcast is going to be Langston Hughes and the Harlem Renaissance. I do think that this is appropriate because it was the type of reason that I'm starting this podcast is because I want my own personal rebirth. You know, I've been creating music uh, for a long time now. Um, uh, maybe I should start with an introduction. <laughs> uh, like I said, uh, when I started the podcast, my name is Anonymous, the author. I'm a hip hop musician here local to Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, that's right here in the Midwest. We're in the southern part, uh, right by, excuse me, uh, right by Kentucky. A little bit of North and South flavor. Um, we are uh, somewhat of a budding scene here. Um, from what I hear and understand, we saw I had a movie or two shot in downtown, which I thought was really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm, just, I'm a hip hop musician here. I do a lot of writing. I do a lot of. I'll do a little bit of everything here around the city. Uh, act a little bit. Do some music. I shoot some videos. I just like to like to be involved. And um, I'm starting this podcast because um, I've always I've always had an interest in uh, poetry and writing. So I figure if this if anyone's listening out there who themselves is a poet or has been looking for some some books or some some kind of motivation or really just looking for a life change I really wanted to create a podcast that you know we could uh, that could be kind of like a conversation between me and everybody out there that hopefully I can motivate some guys, some people to start writing. Uh, some of you uh, fans out there can start writing. Hopefully you're fans of the show. Uh, uh, can be some uh, fans and start help you guys to start writing or, um, you know, any, anything that I can really do to, to affect somebody's life in the positive. I feel like that's always needed and that's always warranted. I'm sure there are other podcasts out there that do something like this, but uh, I haven't heard of them local to my city, so I figure why not, you know? The, uh, the closest is uh, always the most powerful and the most impact. So as I said, uh, this podcast is the Anonymous Author Podcast. Uh, I do feel like every episode we're going to have some kind of theme and I'm going to read you either a short poem uh, by an author or a writer or a quote or some kind of scene. You know, we're going to have different kind of creators and different kind of themed episodes. Uh, I'm hoping in the future we can get some interviews with some creators. Uh, hopefully uh, they can share with how they go through their processes and hopefully that can pass on to you guys and uh you can uh use it in your own personal life or maybe even just enjoy the content <laughs> i will be having some of my own personal music on here uh music by boltnik media uh this this podcast is sponsored by boltnik media uh that is the company that i am currently signed to and uh if you are interested in sponsoring or hosting any kind of podcast, uh, please email boltneckmedia at outlook.com, B-O-L-T-N-E-C-K-M-E-D-I-A at outlook.com. Uh, reach out to them, and I'm sure they will set something up, and I look forward to partnering with anybody who's interested. Flowing to my jeans, got the game sold in hand, sold versus but not sold out for going in. So nothing ever really changes, cash is clay, how it So once again, uh, this we will be having some themed, uh, some themed, episodes uh but mainly this is gonna be kind of kind of loose and free i i'd said all that to act like i have a whole structure i have a whole concept i have a whole plan but i really don't <laughs> uh we're gonna see how much uh we can stay on the rails but this might just devolve into me screaming into the microphone shaking my fist in the air so <laughs> we'll just try to stay uh, the most positive that we can so on the topic of langston hughes and the harlem renaissance i think that uh during this important part of our life and during this time during these er this era i do think that free speech is a very important part of this american way of life that we have <clears throat> i know this is the first episode and we're getting deep already y'all i know i know but i do think that free speech is more important than no, I, I'm going to say it like this. I do think that free speech is important. I'm not going to say it's more important than anything. It's, it's just very important. I I'm, I would say that I lean left, but I mean, I do believe in, in the Second Amendment right. I mean, I'm, I'm here in America, you know what I'm saying? I'm here in the Midwest and, you know, let's just say I... I've shot a couple guns before. <laughs> I, I don't own any legally. Let's just say that like that. And that's just how we get down here in the Midwest. It's not, it's nothing vindictive, nothing evil, nothing wrong with owning a gun. It's all about how, how you choose to use it. If you use it for hunting, I mean, hey, I've nothing wrong with that. I support you. But free speech to me is on that same level. Like it's just something that we have to have. If you're offended by what somebody says, then you are totally entitled to retaliate against that person. In my eyes, now you're going to have to deal with 
You're going to have to deal with what comes out of that. But if you feel like that they upset you to the point that you got to put your hands on them, then put your hands on them, man. But to me, words should never let you, words should never push you over the limit to where you're like, okay, I got to react physically and violently. They're just words, sticks and stones. Shout out Dave Chappelle and that special, Sticks and Stones. I don't know if the people critiquing it understood Sticks and Stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Like he was intentionally doing that stuff to be offensive and they just bit on it. And uh, I think it's kind of cool that he did it in a way that even though people were mad, he's so big that, you know, he's not even so big. It's just that he's independent and he got his money and then did the special. So it's like, you really can't, you know, he got his money, but <laughs> he out of there. If he chooses to do another special, he does. But if not, you know, he made his money already. So I think that was a very smart choice. Uh, I think that the people that are stuck with like network and TV shows have to watch what they say. Um, like not not every TV show, because you do have, you know, one-offs where uh, like some people, like a phase on love will say whatever he want to say, regardless of what's going on. And, uh, you know, he's still getting movie deals because that's who he is. But like people who come up in that light, like who are always been stars, who've never been known as having their own free opinion. I think they'll always be stuck in having to say what the uh, what their bosses tell them to say. And I mean, hey, if, if, if you feel like chasing the bag is is. It's worth it, and you do it. But, I mean, I'm going to speak my mind, and I'm going to speak my piece. And I feel like free speech is very important to this American lifestyle, to this American way of life. And it's like no matter what happens, we Americans, we have to stick up for the things that are very basic in this country. Now, you can't use your words to incite violence against somebody. I mean, that's just basic. You can't create a march to say, hey, we're going to kill. You know, you can't create a, a Nazi party. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can't do that. But if you can't give your own opinion about something, I mean, what is the, what's the point? We all don't have to agree. I might not agree with what you have to say, but I mean, I'll defend to the death your right to say it. I mean, that's a basic, you know what I mean? So I do think that in this day and age, free speech is always appreciated. I feel like art, art is art. If you choose to, if you choose to create something, then that even, that should, that is even more that you should have the right to do that. I know that sounds ridiculous, but be, you should not have any shackles on you when you're creating something. And then you let the public judge it. I mean, that's the thing. You can't say, Hey, I want my free speech. Okay, say whatever you want to say. And then people are like, oh, man, you said, hey, I got my free speech. It's like, yeah, but we can still react. And that's why I think so many people get it messed up is that, like, I consider myself on the left. But where the left has it wrong is that people can say what they want to say. Like, it's been this cancel culture where it's like these social justice warriors, like, hey, you can't say that, or or we'll cancel you, or we'll get you out of here. It's like, I mean, that's fine. You're the consumer, so if you feel like you don't like them, you could take away. But when you start petitioning these companies and saying, hey, he's racist and all this, it's like, you don't have to enjoy it, but can't, you know, can't other people enjoy it? And then on the right, you have, they say that you the government should be able to interfere with like Twitter and Facebook and say, hey, you can't take these people off of here because they are exercising their free right to speech. It's like, yeah, but these are private companies. You know what I mean? You know, and I, I've heard the argument, well, well, they've just gotten so big that they're, uh, it's, a, it's a public, you know, it's like a public domain. You know, everyone uses it, so the government has to regulate it. Are we really going to give the government more power, fam? I mean, come on, fam. Like I said, I consider myself left, but I don't even fuck with the government, bruh. I don't even, I don't even trust the government, bruh. I can't do it. I do not mess with the government on any level. So to have them try to interfere and re regulate these social medias, I'm like, just create your own social media. Like, create your own following, your own your basic core so that if you do get kicked off of these places, you can come somewhere else and make your money because really the only complaint is that you're forcing them to lose money. Now, I don't want to say I come from the bottom, but I come from some shitty, terrible situations and I know what it's like to be at the bottom. And if you're making 20000 a year off your residual dividend, you're not living that bad, fam. I come from the Midwest. We get by on thirty k a year. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a good year for some people out here. 
Not saying they survive well, but I can't really feel bad for these people that's making two, three hundred million, you know, two, three hundred million over years and years, and then they all of a sudden stop, and it's like, oh, feel bad for them. It's like, ah, I don't know about that, bro. You sounding real elitist, bro. <laughs> that's what you sounding like. You sounding real elitist, bro. You sound like you crying in the back of your McLaren, my nigga. Like you sound like you, you just, you know what I'm saying? You got on your Gucci boots. You wiping away tears with the Louis Vuitton rag. Like I, I don't know if I feel that bad for you, bro. But I do feel like people should have free speech. I do feel like you can say what you want to say. If you sound an ass, let the people judge you and you be an ass. And then people can stop messing with you. And then that's the end of it. And then you realize that you were wrong. Or maybe you section off a, a, a core following that really likes you. But I feel like idiots should be allowed to, to reveal their idiocracy. <laughs> I do. So, yeah. Once again, following the theme of the Harlem Renaissance, uh, <laughs> all of that just to say that art should not be shackled. If you're going through a rebirth, if you're going through a creation, if you're going through, if you're going to express yourself like a Langston Hughes uh, and, and, and use your thoughts and mind to create something, you shouldn't be shackled by any kind of PC or I need to, to lean or walk this way. I feel like you should be able to express yourself to the fullest of your ability, as long as you're not inciting violence. <laughs> I must be.